Hey Earth Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing a weekly love uh, reading for those of you who are single and looking for love. Um, this is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I would much appreciate it. And for those of you um, who have stopped by, drop a like if you so choose. So we are going to get one card for um, what what your um, overall week's going to be focused on, and then we will go from there. So I'm going to tip you down here so you can see your cards come out. Maybe. There we go. All right. One card. All right. Earth sign singles. You have... The number three. Okay, so um, the three card. This is based, um, your focus is going to be based around your home. Uh, with the house card, it's really talking about needing to remind yourself of the value and the comforts and securities within your home. What makes you feel secure? Um, you could be, you could be think, you could be, bleh, bleh. <laughs> you could be focusing on um, a place where you grew up or or a home that you had with somebody else that you no longer do. But your uh, your focus this week most definitely is on your home, your traditions, your values, um, making a house a home. So let's get your energy here. So earth signs, your energy is the seven of wands. So you are really focusing on resolving your finances, overcoming challenges, really against all odds. Like nobody thought you could do it. Nobody thought you, you know, could get your life put back together, but you are winning through fighting for you know the dawn of a new day from a position of of struggle you are now in a position of advantage you are not necessarily so much focusing on a relationship as healing from um, a situation of the past financially um, you're also gaining strength through personal integrity um, putting your focus on something else other than someone else the person coming in for you ooh is the six of coins so they're on a good financial um they're they're very financially stable um you know you're this person is on the up and up they care they are generous they you know they just have a desire to to not like they have a desire to make it on their own and not have to focus on anybody else this could be an earth sign coming in for you um as well what you need to know about this connection oh good lord we have the devil <laughs> well just when i thought it was getting pretty good hmm yeah so they could be a capricorn because it is earth i'm gonna uh pull clarifiers on this so what you need to do to be ready for this relationship the four of cups so, you're very bored right now. You're preoccupied with your finances. There could have been some dis, uh, disappointment, some discontentment. And you're not seeing the good things in this person. You're just looking at the bad. You need to uh, change your focus, change your perspective. The outcome is the empress. Holy cow. So, beautiful energy there. Um, let's see here. What do I want to clarify with? Bottom of the deck is the King of Swords as well. So you're by the outcome, you're gonna really find your power. Um, 
your pleasure, finding beauty in life, success. You could be really focusing on a company that nobody thought would make it. Um, and here it is. You're rocking it. Like, there's that energy because you're proving your doubters wrong. You're proving that, yes, you do deserve this. Yes, you can do this. Um, some of you could be buying a new home um, because your uh, company is doing that good. So, working hard, not even focusing on love. Your passion in life right now is making money, is working hard and um, getting out of this uh, financial struggle that you've currently been in. You're not even really focused on love, and that's when love's going to come in for you. The person that's coming in, why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Ten of Wands. So they're just getting out of a heavy relationship as well. Um, there's a lot of burden around uh, something that they had to release, but they are coming in very balanced, very up and up. Like they, what you see is what you get. And they expect the same out of you. Um, they don't want a heavy, serious relationship. This person could possibly just want sex here with the devil. Why is the devil here for what they should know? The two of swords. Okay, so earth signs, what you need to know is this person could have a choice. Like you're not the only person that they're dealing with. But they're going to be straight up with you. After, after like the first couple dates, like, like I said, what you see is what you get with this person, but they're not wanting anything serious. They're wanting just kind of someone to have fun with. Um, what you need to do to be ready for this connection is you need to put the love into yourself first. You need to learn to fill that cup, um, for self-love before you can, um, give it out because you're really focusing on disappointment, discontentment, um, not seeing the good things in yourself for one. This can mean depression, self-pity, um, but really you need to find the love within yourself. Um, you could be feeling this way because of somebody leaving you um, in the recent past, but this person's going to be good for you. I do feel it could be a Capricorn um, very heavily or a water sign. But earth sign, you're really going to um, come out like that. It didn't pop, but all the way out, but I did pull it. But why is the empress here? You are going to like stand in your ground. You are going to become very strong. Yeah, you're going to do what's best for you. You're going to focus on yourself. You could be starting a new company. That's what this looks like. Um, not even really focusing on love. You're going to walk away from love so you can work on your company, so you can build your home, so you can buy a home. But this is really a, this is having the opportunity for love and walking away from it because you're choosing to put all your energy into something you're creating, into something you're building, something that nobody thought you could do. But here you are working hard and making it your dream, making it come true, making it become real. And you're doing a beautiful job at it. You are being successful and succeeding in that. Let's get a romance card here. Whoa. Um, yeah, Earth Signs, I really see you changing like gears. Putting all your attention into making this successful. One card for our Earth Sign Singles. One card for Earth Sign Singles. Thank you. Separation. So, bottom of the deck. Look at that. Love yourself first. What you need to do to be ready for a relationship. That's what these this position is. You need to love yourself first. Instead of focusing on somebody leaving you. Instead of focusing on what went wrong. Focus on what went right. And begin to pour that love into yourself um, and that's what your main focus needs to be this week is the the love for self um, making the decision to walk away from something toxic in the past um, somebody new coming in for you like I said could be another air sign could be somebody from your past because it's been burdensome 
But this person's on the up and up that is coming in for you. They will be honest with you, but I'm seeing that they don't want anything serious. They just kind of want, honestly, somebody to have a lot of sex with for some of you. But you're you're really focusing on your home, um, you know, and what went wrong. You need to focus on filling that cup for yourself so you'll be prepared when that person comes in for you. So, all right, Earth Sign Singles, I hope you enjoyed this singles reading. You are ending the week very successful, um, putting that time and work into that uh, business, into, into your job, whatever you are focusing on creating. Whatever it is that you are building from the ground up, you are rocking it. So, all right, Earth Signs, I hope you enjoyed this super singles reading. I will see you next time. God bless.